The student is saying that based on, on religious beliefs that the earth is only as old as you know, 6,000 years old in the Bible and that sort of thing. Can, can a professor tell a student in that case, no, you're wrong? So uh, this bill stays out of the question, I mean, out of, out of the classroom. Um, yes, the earth is 6,000 years old, that's a fact. But we can discuss that outside of these. You said <laughs> that it is a fact. Room. You do believe yes. it's a fact. No, but that it's but, only but um, I do. Okay. I'm Annie Laurie Gaylor, co-president of the Freedom from Religion Foundation. After that shocking statement by Wisconsin Assembly Member Jesse Kramer, he's a member of the Wisconsin Assembly's Committee on Colleges and Universities. We at the Freedom from Religion Foundation chimed in. Actually, Associated Press called me and asked for a statement, and I said the obvious thing that it's an embarrassment to our state to have an ignorant creationist serving on the State Assembly's Committee on Higher Education. I called Kramer unfit to serve on a committee on colleges and universities. And I also felt that we at FFRF should write a letter to Representative Kramer disabusing him of his creationist myth. So we wrote him that the same science and technology that informs us that the Earth is more than four billion years old has dictated Kramer's life, from his former work as a pilot to that mobile phone he carries in his pocket. Kramer is now very ironically claiming he's the victim of fake news. It's Kramer who is propagating fake news. Religion is the original fake news, and the Bible is a primary source. And by the way, that 6,000-year figure on the age of the Earth is based on the calculations of a Bishop Usher, who in the year 1650 ludicrously claimed to figure out the age of the earth by adding up all the ages of the people in the Old Testament and working backwards. So how's that for the ultimate fake news? While this incident is superficially humorous, there's a real downside to such willful ignorance by governmental officials. As I wrote Kramer, it's due to the unfortunate sabotage of the study of evolution in our nation by creationist lobbyists and public officials, such as yourself, Representative Kramer, that the United States ranks next to last in Western countries on public acceptance of evolution. We beat out only Turkey, but we're in worse shape than Malta, Poland, Croatia, and a whole host of nations with far less educational opportunities than the United States. Studies consistently show about half of Americans reject the fact of evolution. This gives our nation a black eye. We risk making the United States and the Wisconsin State Legislature a global laughing stock. Understanding evolution is absolutely fundamental to any comprehension of biology, and this religious blindfold jeopardizes our country's standing in a global market since comprehension of evolution is fundamental to progress in medicine, pharmacy, agriculture, and biotechnology. Representative Kramer also postures that somehow criticism of him by me and the Freedom from Religion Foundation and by the social media that is making fun of his position, rightfully so, is an attack on free speech. It is not. Kramer is free to say whatever silly thing he wants at assembly committee meetings, but then he has to accept the consequences. Representative Kramer, if you can't take the heat, get out of the kitchen.